These are the men and women of Beaver Valley, the bravest of the brave. They fought fearlessly for their country, their city, their community, and for the ideals we share as Americans. They served proudly in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Here, now, are their stories, their own experiences in their own words, the words of the heroes of Beaver Valley. 91-year-old Massachusetts native Vaskin Alemian was enlisted in the United States Navy in 1943. I was drafted out of a trade school, a vocational school, in 1943. That's when I was inducted into the service. I volunteered for the Navy. Alemian went to boot camp in Sampson, New York, and trained in multiple areas across the country to become an electrician mate. Ultimately, he was sent to serve in the South Pacific. Before getting to the islands of New Caledonia, we crossed the equator, and of course we had to get initiated as a shellback. You have to walk through this line, and they hit you with paddles and hoses, washing you down. Then when you get through that, you go up and you sit down, and they cut your hair. And then from that, you go see King Neptune, and they pick the hairiest guy you want to see, and you have to kiss his belly. <laughs> Alemian started off on New Caledonia, then went to the New Hebrides in New Guinea. He ended up on Guadalcanal at an advanced naval base working in a factory that produced oxygen for pilots and industrial use. The main job was making oxygen. We built a factory in a Quonset hut. We worked uh, 24 hours a day, eight hour shifts, 21 days straight, then they'd take a week off and then go back on the shift part of it again. It was, it was boring. It drove you crazy. But it was, look at it, what the other guys had to go through. You were better off. Then while on Guadalcanal, one night about, it must have been between 11.30, quarter of uh, 12, I had to get up and go to the bathroom. All of a sudden I see this flash in the sky and a big explosion. And we come to find out it was an ammunition ship they were loading, the USS Serpent was the name of the ship. And they were about, oh, must have killed about, I'd say, between 25, 30 people. And when, as soon as we saw that happen, of course, we dove, dove into our foxholes for about a couple of minutes until it subsided. But it was quite a mess after. Alemian's older brother Soren also served during World War II. He was killed in action in Germany. Oh, well, my brother he was a year and a half older than me. He was the brains of the family, let me put it that way. He went to college, he went to uh, Northeastern, and he joined the ROTC. And six months later, he volunteered. This was in 1943. And he was assigned to uh, go to that ASTP, Army Specialized Training Program. And he did that for a year and a half. And then he went overseas the same month I did. He went to, to Europe and I went to the South Pacific. We used to write back and forth letters together. And then I, and, uh, he was killed November 21st, 1944, killed in action in Germany. About uh, October, I start getting letters on the deceased stamped on the envelope. My parents hadn't told me anything yet. Finally, uh, I had the chaplain called me. I knew what it was about, and I went up there. That's when they officially told me he was killed in action. Decades after his service, Alimina moved to Beaver County to be closer to his daughter. 
he ended up joining the Beaver County Special Unit, a group that serves as honor guard at the funerals of military veterans. It gives you a, a kind of a camaraderie feeling. The first two, it was kind of uh, eye-tearing, but after that, it's the job you do. You got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. 